Today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Sweden day. Swedish police are the best. Are they the best? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Hi. Uh, yeah, I. The motor shop you need yes. Park. Yeah. You're just over here to the left. After a little around, it's in the corner. Ah, it's over there. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's just straight over. So you're on the My right navigation is. You were on the right place. Yeah. I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he seemed nice. He actually seemed really nice. There's something about the Swedish accent that's just so nice. It just sounds when you speak English. It, I don't know, it sounds really pleasant to my ears. I say this all the time. I just need to just, I just need to go to Sweden though. I think I'm I think I think I'm semi in love with Sweden. You know? I'm in a love affair with Sweden. And I've never been. So we'll see. Imagine if I go to Sweden and it's just terrible. Guys, I'm a bit scared. This is maybe why this is why. This is probably why I've not been yet. Because I'm like, I don't want to be disappointed uh, when I go there. But I don't think I will be. But anyways, let's continue. Ooh, season three. Is this like a series? Is she going on motorbike tours? Itchy bits. <laughs> Good morning, internet. It is uh, 20 past six in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Because of the time, I am a little bit in a rush. <laughs> I'm trying to catch the boat back to the mainland uh, Sweden and the boat okay. leaves at 7 and I can check in until 20 minutes before I have been a little bit in a so rush she... this morning <laughs> Is she in Sweden right now? Wherever she, she said she needs to catch a boat back to the mainland Sweden so where is she now? Very beautiful wherever she is, it looks very clean and nice is her whole channel just driving on her little scooter? I am here for that. I love a biker chick. That's so cool. <laughs> and the thing is, because at our scooter or a motorbike, I'm not sure if she's on a motorbike or a scooter, I'm currently driving um, a scooter um, in probably the most dangerous city to drive a scooter in. Crazy. Uh, in Bangkok. <laughs> but I'm, I'm leaving soon, so I won't be driving one for much longer. But I love this. It's really cool. I hope I'll make it. Which one? Which one? Not this one. Wow, it's another ship. Where is she? there all right so when I came here I'm now on uh, Gotland in Sweden the island I came via Oscar ah. Sham, but now I'm taking the boat to Nin Nina Sham she's in hot hotland did she say Scotland, in Sweden. It's an island. Nice. I don't know where that is. She's there in she's there in a good time of year because it looks really really pretty. Like it might be summer. Oh, Gotland. Oh, okay, Gotland. Gotland. Okay. Hi. Good morning. Six four seven five one. Five. To the front of line, lane fourteen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thank you. The beauty of driving a bike. All right, <laughs> everyone else is queuing up in their cars. And she's riding right to the front. Oh, I made it in time. 
Oh, I really had to rush because uh, this morning, well, I didn't have time for breakfast. I didn't have time to film anything. <laughs> I just really had to uh, quickly uh, walk down to the parking lot, pick up Ronin, drive her up next to the place I was staying, load everything up, and I was like, go, go, go. Oh, a wasp. Go away. Go away. Uh, I don't like wasps. Is she gone? No. No, no, it's not. I'm gonna close my visor. That's probably good. Go away. No, no, no. Oh, it's it's on my helmet. No, no. Go away. Oh, it's away. very attracted to... Ooh. It's now on my handlebar. Oh. <laughs> that wasp is like, um, I'm interested in, you know, hanging out with you today. I think it's gone. Anyway, what was I saying? So I'm not taking the boat back to the same place where I came from. I'm now going more north. So I will arrive pretty close to Stockholm. And the plan for today is actually, I think Ronin needs an oil change. Oh I my have God. covered. When she, was when she was saying Ronin, I was like, well, who is she talking about? Ronin's her bike. I love that. She named the bike like it's a pet. <laughs> Ronin. He needs an oil change, you know? It's almost 7,000 <laughs> kilometers so since I got her. So oh, many her. recommended that I should do a oil change. So that I'm going to try to do, but I've been looking online, trying to find a motorcycle shop. And uh, I, it was really hard. <laughs> I couldn't really find a place where I thought, okay, this looks reliable or good or open. I found one place. I sent him a message on Facebook, I'm like, sure hey, I'm can I stop by? Stockholm. But they didn't respond. So I think I'll just go there and then see. Hi. <laughs> Lovely big ship. So it's breakfast time, we're now on board, and I'm at Steek. We are the only two motorcyclists on board, <laughs> and you brought your own breakfast, which is good. I had to get some breakfast. Um, actually, is this the typical Swedish combination? Yeah, I, you can say that. Can say What's this called? It's very dark, dark bread, though. It's what, what's uh, the name in Swedish? It's like oh. a rye bread. <laughs> oh, Dark he's bread. really shy. You can tell he's really shy, and like, this one being a, he's very Swedish. His his whole dem his demeanor seems really Swedish. Kind of like, I don't want to be on camera. I just want to eat my lunch. <laughs> Do we have to speak while we're eating? Oh, love it. <laughs> You're taking the boat to um, to sell your bike. Yeah, I'm going to sell my bike. He's riding a Honda CRF 250 now. 250, yes. And he's going to sell it because? I need a bigger one. <laughs> I need a bigger one. To go, go with the guys on the further tours. Big trips. Big trips. So what are you going to buy? Uh, BMW. Yes. Yes. Nice. It's going to be a big upgrade. That's so this fast. is typical Swedish. Colors. Colors caviar. Yeah. Is it mayonnaise? No, it's from the small egg. Oh, fish eggs. From. <laughs> She's right. Fish eggs. Yeah, I need to try Colors caviar. I keep saying it. I know. I will. It has to be in Sweden. I mean, I could have. I probably could have tried Colors cav cal Calis caviar. And I could have probably tried like all sorts of Swedish stuff. I even had some of my, my subscribers and some of my patrons offer to send me some Swedish snacks um, over. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to try them all in Sweden. Like This has to be my Swedish trip is going to be all encompassing i will be trying all the food all the snacks i will be visiting all the places or as many places as i can um it has to be a proper thing um 
all all at once well all over a span of a week or so so yeah i'm waiting you have to try it in sweden right for it to be authentic you have to try everything in sweden so that's what i'm gonna do mm, like Small caviar products eggs. so but yeah. this is really expensive and <laughs> <laughs> hey, you put it on egg Pour those eggs, right? okay i'm going to i'm going to try this well enjoy your breakfast Thank you. I'm also going to enjoy this breakfast. <laughs> Just go uh, the, the, first, the first line of start here. Yeah. Go with it. Yeah. This one goes first. Go okay. <laughs> Have a nice trip. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Good luck with. I hope he's there and it will go smooth <laughs> the sail. <laughs> so if you come to Gotland, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> If I known you'd live there, I would stop by, but I didn't know you then. <laughs> so I'm now back on uh, mainland Sweden. And I'm going to ride to the capital, to Stockholm now, which is roughly 50 kilometers or something. All right, I'm in Stockholm now. I believe that Stockholm has about 1 million people living here, which is roughly the same as Amsterdam. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. 1 million. It's actually it's actually like a medium. No, 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 it's not medium. It's like a large city in the UK. So a million is like, well, my home city Leeds has the same population pretty much as Stockholm. I would say if you Google, if I think if you Google Leeds now, where I'm from, it probably would say like 800,000 or something like that. But I'd say it's closer to a million, um, especially now. I would say um, it's, it's, it's a it's a fast growing city, so I reckon it's a similar population to to Stockholm. But before I am going to ride around the city center a little bit, I'm first going to uh, eat something. Because today is a Thursday, and on Thursdays in Sweden, they eat something very special. So I decided it's time to Oh my god, I feel like a really bad, like, Swedish YouTuber. I'm <laughs> not a Swedish YouTuber, but someone who's learning about Sweden. What do you guys do on Thursday? I feel like I should know this. I think I remember something that you do on a, on a certain day of the week. What do you eat on Thursdays? Meat? Meatballs? I don't think it's meatballs. Oh no, I, when she says it, I'm gonna know. Or when I see it, I'm gonna know. But I feel like I should know this. Guys, I'm sorry. I just feel like I'm gonna too. So that's what we're going to do what first. What do you eat on Thursday? There she is, Stockholm. I see a lot of these electrical mopeds. They're really ah. cool. You guys use electric scooters a lot. Um, it's one thing that they did. They haven't really. Um, electric scooters are not really popular in like London, or oh, they've they they've they've whatever for whatever reason. I think they've put a hold on them because they feel like they're not safe. Um, we have electric bikes, uh, a lot of electric bikes in London, but we don't have electric scooters. I know they're quite big in, um, in Amsterdam and in Paris, especially Paris. I saw loads in Paris. But yeah, London, we don't really have many um, electric scooters, interestingly enough. Wow. All right, so it is time to eat something very typical Swedish. So every Meatballs. Thursday, the Swedish people, probably not all of them, but a lot of them eat pea soup with mustard and pancakes. How do I not? I'm pancakes. <laughs> How do I not know this? On a Thursday you eat this. I've heard of the pea soup and the pancakes that you eat separately, actually. It's, it's not together. I was told. But you eat that on a Thursday. Is that a thing? I didn't know it was a Thursday. I never heard that before. I, I guess it's similar to what we do in the UK. On, on a Friday, we have fish and chip Friday. Every Friday, if you're living locally in the UK, you have fish and chips on a Friday as a treat. So it must be the same thing. Stockholm had it too, a little bit. 
and the whole combination pea soup with pancakes just sounds slightly bizarre to me but I've been told that the pancakes with the jam that this is like the dessert so yeah. first you have the pea soup with the mustard and then you end with the pancakes uh, with the jam and people that served in the military in Sweden they definitely know this tradition because they still do that uh, I believe since World War II every Thursday pea soup so in Swedish this entire dish is called Ertsoppa och pankakor <laughs> and there are different theories on why this tradition started and some say that it's because pea soup is very easy to prepare and on Thursdays the maids would only work half days so that's the reason why they made this very simple meal and others say that it's because Catholics don't eat or didn't used to eat meat on Friday so then they would put it in the pea soup on the Thursdays but there, there are different theories but anyway you can still get it uh, all over Sweden on Thursdays in different types of restaurants so without further ado I'm going to try it out this has a lot of flavor <laughs> very good well, that was okay. absolutely delicious this is a Swedish tradition that I, I highly try. approve let's go back make I'm gonna make sure guys you have to remind me well Okay, we're gonna sort this out closer to the time. Closer to the time, the whole itinerary for my trip, I need all your help. All of you guys need to help me formulate it so I know what I'm doing. I need to know that I'm doing the pea soup and pancakes on the Thursday. I need to do all of this stuff. Like, I'm gonna plan this trip properly. Like, it's not gonna be a flash in the pan. Like, like it needs to be properly planned. It's gonna be worth it. It's going to be worth the wait. I know a lot of you have been with me for like a year now. <laughs> but I promise it's going to be done properly when I, when I take my trip to Sweden. It's going to be done properly, guys. Go back to Ronin and then I am going to ride to a motorcycle shop, which hopefully can do an oil change for me. It's about a 20 minutes, 20 kilometer ride, so it's slightly out of town. Okay. But I just want to do that first before the afternoon is all gone. And then on the way back, I'll see if I can do some uh, more riding through the city center here. Stockholm looks really amazing. I've never been here before, but uh, yeah, it's just full of beautiful, beautiful buildings everywhere. A really mm. relaxed vibe as well. So uh, yeah, I will ride a little bit more. I'm going to stay tonight in Stockholm as well, I decided. Uh, but first let's just do what I have to do and that is take care of Rodin. So let's go. Yes. Yeah. You're just over here to the left after a little around it's in the corner. Ah, it's over there. Ah, okay. It's just straight over. So you're on the My right navigation place. is I you were on the right place. Yeah. I looking. Yeah. Like <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thanks. Oh, he was oh, really nice. nice police here. How nice is that? That the police officer just, you know, noticed that she was looking for something. He knew that oh, she must be looking for somewhere for the motorbike the motorbike shop everyone gets lost around here and he got out of his car came over to tell her he forgot this is this is where it is how cool is that how nice is he oh see you know it i don't know i don't know if i've had a have i ever had a i've had a pleasant i have had a couple pleasant interactions with police in england but i've had a couple unpleasant interactions with police as well so hmm. but that was a nice interaction Yeah, here it is. Oh, let's see if they can do something for me. Ah, yes. Yamaha. Well, I just went inside and they are too busy. They cannot do the service today, but they did me a massive favor because uh, I can come back tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, which is great because they're actually fully booked for the next six weeks. <laughs> So I'm really glad that they will, they will want to do it tomorrow. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I am going back into Stockholm, uh, ride around a little bit more uh, and then I think I'm just going to uh, find a place to stay tonight uh, for tonight and then come back here uh, tomorrow morning 8 o'clock. So that is the plan. That scooter is I do Yamaha. really appreciate that from uh, bike shops that usually they will give priority if you're a traveler and they know that you cannot book um, an appointment weeks in advance. And I'm glad to know that Sweden is not any different and they will help you out if you're a traveler. So that's really awesome. That's good. They're accommodating. So pretty. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. That's beautiful, guys. You need to be proud of wherever this is. You need to be proud of this area. It's so clean so pristine it's so beautiful i mean it helps that it's not snowing or raining <laughs> it helps that the weather's really nice but wow the architecture so i am now back in stockholm and i'm standing in front of the Riddarholm church and this wow. is one of the oldest buildings here in stockholm uh, it was finished in 1300 and this is quite a special place because a lot of the Swedish royal family members that passed away have been buried here in this church. Ah, so it's a very, very, very important historical um, piece of piece of piece of. It's a historical building. It's a it's very important to your nation. So all the royal family has been buried here. Wow. Anyway, but besides the church, it's just such a cool part of town and it is so quiet there's just absolutely mm. nobody around here but really really beautiful building so oh i think they're going to change the the guard look wait hold up you check you do the changing of the guard as well just have to do in the uk but the difference is there's nobody there. Oh, I'm definitely coming to I'm definitely coming to Stockholm to to witness this because in the UK they do change the guard, but the UK in London it's 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 so busy. It's so busy because it's such a tourist attraction. Whereas I guess in Stockholm your royal family is not as oh my bad is not as much of a tourist attraction as our royal family. So you get to see things like this with no one there. That's awesome. Oh, thing. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's That's awesome. Oh, it's a There they go. Don't you just love tradition? Like, <laughs> guys, don't ever lose that. Honestly, I, I, how I feel is like, I used to be, I used to be very anti-establishment, very anti the royal family. I'll be honest. I was, um, I used to be very like, mm, no. Then I moved away from my country of origin. <laughs> then I moved away from the UK where I was born. And you, you feel more, maybe, I won't say patriotic, but kind of when you live in a country that is not the country of origin. When you move to another country, you are, not, you, you are a Swedish person. You are a Swede. They, that's how people identify you. That is what you carry around with you. It doesn't even matter what race you are. It's like, what's your nationality? What, what passport do you hold? When you're not in your own country, that is like gold. And you actually do feel a, a sense of patriotism to your country and the way you do things back at home and the way that things are and culturally the way that you are. And um, I do think culture and tradition is really important in the countries that you're from and it's really special. There's not a lot of countries around the world that have something like the changing of the guard. 
I mean, I didn't know that Sweden had that. I think Sweden and England, we we have some of the some of you know that I, I maybe I'll Google it and see how many, but there's not many countries that have that tradition, and it's something that is dying because there's a you know because there's a lack of support for the royal families um, and their weaning and, and weaning is that the right word? Weaning, yeah, weaning. <laughs> weaning reminds me of something else but yeah like it's like starting to there's less people that are are supportive of the royal family and i completely understand why should a family have more privilege have more money have more success just from birthright it's not right blah 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 blah. um but the symbolism and the symbolicness of it um and people travel the world just to see that i think it's important to kind of keep an element of it even if we have a museum for all the, the royal artifacts and then we still do still do the changing of the guard and maybe abolish 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 the monarchy in that sense i don't know what do you guys think how do you feel about your royal family and how do you feel about tradition and and stuff like that i don't know i just think it's really cool as i've gotten older and as i've moved to different countries i appreciate it a lot more but yeah let me know I really like that part of town. Mm. Just all, it's like all these houses are just stacked on top of each other. Stockholm so is cool. very beautiful, guys. Very beautiful. Maybe I go. should come Hotel in the um, hostel. summer. Oh la la, it is hot. Anyway, this is the room where I'll be staying tonight. Really, really lovely in Stockholm. I love Stockholm. It looks absolutely amazing. Really beautiful city. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that tomorrow I can uh, go for the surface, small surface for Ronin, have an oil change that's, done. That's, so that's all good. That so yeah, <laughs> uh, that was it for already. today. I really hope you liked this video. Okay, she's finished. Guys, you know what I was going to say was this video is actually one of the best ones that I've seen for Stockholm. And the reason why I say this is because um, because she's driving around Stockholm. There's a different, when you're on a bike and you're driving around, you get a different perspective of a country and of a city. And I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe because the weather was really nice. This is like the best looking kind of view of Stockholm that I've seen out of the videos yet. It makes me excited to go. I'm really excited. I can't wait to visit. Like, I really can't wait to visit. It's happening. You have to stay tuned. You have to continue watching my videos because I will be going. You will You will see one day you're going to get a random notification that I'm in Stockholm or I'm in Gothenburg or I'm in like um, Malmo or I'm in like the far north of Sweden. <laughs> Oh, I'm in Finland and I'm coming to Sweden. You're gonna get a notification. It's gonna be there, so you're gonna have to keep. You're gonna have to turn on notifications. You're gonna have to subscribe to see that happen. Cause it's gonna happen, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, and we'll see you very soon.